If you've watched our channel for any time, you know how much my wife, Bree, loves her goats. Well, today, I'm cooking her goat without asking, and I'm not sure if it's the best idea. Hi, we're Art and Bree. Four years ago, we left the city to buy a 100-year-old farm to turn it into our own productive homestead where we can grow our own food, build a healthy life, and raise our kids just how we like. If you want to join us in our homesteading adventure on our small farm, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. The sugar in the dough. This is bread. This isn't cinnamon rolls. Before I get to that, I actually have to get a buck named Braveheart ready to leave. We borrowed him for a couple months. He bred our doughs female goats, and now he's going home. He's done some good work here on this place. He's been really weird at times. He's been stinky all the time. Come here, don't touch me too much, please. Hey. All right, come on. There you go. Unfortunately, I may need to give him a hug to get him up into their truck. Goodbye, Braveheart. Anyway, we'll miss your antics. Um, but yeah, I'm honestly glad to not have a buck around all the time. Okay, what are we having for supper and how is this going to work? Well, I secretly bought some goat meat and I have it stashed down here in the freezer right here. So I'm actually going to take it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge to thaw uh, and we'll make some hamburgers later on. Man, I smell like a goat. I had to pick up the buck and lift him into the truck. Basically gave him a big urine-soaked hug. I'm 100% sure though that as soon as I walk into the house, Bree's gonna say, you smell terrible. And the funny thing is I don't even smell it anymore. I've become one with the goat. I'm just grabbing a quick bite and then I'm gonna run back down and work on the house. Can, do you think y'all can come down at like five and do chores with me? I'd like to shoot a piece from my video about goats and like why we're, why we're keeping the goats for now. And mostly just like talk about Braveheart and how much you love goats. Ew, you stink. Do I stink? From zero to 10, how much do I smell like a buck? 11. Oh, no. You smell really, really bad. <laughs> Are you serious? I can't did you, did you try, did you pick him I up to put him? Oh, you cannot be in here till you I'm wash. leaving, I'm just gonna grab some food and leave. I can't smell it. I become immune to the smell. You could do a pork chop with apple butter. Do you want some crackers <laughs> since the bread's not ready? All right. I got this meat, this goat meat, from Long Lane Farms, LLC, in South Carolina. And I'll put a link to their website in the description if you're interested in trying goat meat. I want to actually see if I can call them and ask and see if they have any special tips for cooking goat meat. Because I've never cooked it. I've never eaten goat meat. Can I treat it like beef? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I say that I tell a lot of folks here that you can completely swap ground goat for ground deer, ground beef, ground venison. I've even had folks compare it to ground elk. So it is something you can swap in readily and easily. It is a very lean meat, so treat it like you would 96.4 or 93.7 ground beef. Um, so you may want to add a bit of fat, whether it be butter, bacon, olive oil, what have you, whatever your preferred kind of you know fat or oil is to cook with. Um, I do recommend folks do that, especially if they're going to be using a high temp cooking method yeah. um, like if you're going to make burgers um, a lot of people like to chop up some some bacon in their burgers uh, we've also seen folks use salsa uh, to add some moisture just literally adding like homemade or jarred salsa to their you know to their patties my other question is mm -hmm. what yes. is the risk in comparison to beef again of mm -hmm. um, deliberately cooking your meat a little rare and is there mm -hmm. is there like a pathogen risk with goat that you don't have with beef no, no. Uh, the USDA guidance is actually 165 degrees. I routinely, yeah. uh, this is just me for my family, knowing where it's coming from and yeah. how it's processed. I will routinely cook mine to um, 145 to 155. Yeah. And then what, especially if you're grilling or you're using a high, you know, a, a really thick or hot constant heat source like cast iron or yeah. a really good grill or a really good coal bed, if you stop cooking at around 145 to 155, it's usually enough to carry it over to 160 to 165. To my knowledge and to the USDA's knowledge, there are no known pathogens that are specific to goats that make it through that cooking process. Awesome. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. And um, yeah. I've never 
ever had goats. Well, that was a helpful conversation and I learned a lot, so I'm gonna be cooking burgers and butter. Okay, I'm getting my clothes on to run into our house and work on the gut portion of our renovation, mold remediation, rebuild, everything we're doing here. But I can't stop thinking about <laughs> how to get this goat meat in front of Bree without her suspecting anything. Because the funny thing is, she may already suspect something because one, I told her I'm cooking supper tonight. That's not a real common thing for me to say when I'm working on projects. And two, we had burgers like three days ago, twice in a week, very unusual. She may already suspect something's going on. All right, I'm going in. I'll see y'all in a little bit on the back side, on the burger side. Okay, I'm done in there. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. There's chickens out. There should be no chickens out, but my kids were down here just a little while ago. That's not good because I'm actually on a time crunch. I have basically one hour to get these burgers. Well, less than an hour. I have like 45 minutes to get burgers on plates. Uh, all right, I'm gonna grab some grain for these chickens. I fed most of the animals like, Two hours ago, I fed them early and brought hay out to the cows, so I would have time to just jump out of here and get up to the house. Hey, chicken, 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 chicken. Come on, no, no, no! Come on, chicken, go! Come on, go! Don't go back under. All right, here they are. If we can get them, there we go. Nope. Oh, there's one more. <laughs> Bree has a friend over, and it's possible that they'll stay for supper. Oh, hey, quick question: Do we have uh, enough lettuce for burgers? Okay, so no huge time pressure. I'll be up there in a minute. Is um, Are they staying for supper? No, they're getting ready to leave. We're almost done with our craft. So no friends. I don't have to worry about pranking friends and offending them, which I don't think it would offend them, but who knows? I guess I could tell them. The one thing I do need to do is give these goats some hay. You may be wondering why I'm doing all this. I love playing jokes on people. The second reason, I want to give goat meat some exposure because I feel like it's a really viable alternative to be for other meats. Hey guys, or ladies I should say. And the third reason is because I want to taste goat myself and I want to get someone's feedback with no bias on how it tastes compared to beef. Goats can be really, really sweet. I think that's why my wife loves them. <laughs> they can also be rowdy. Yeah, tasty, huh? That's the good hay. All right, I got all the food. I got my goat. Did I get your goat? <laughs> I hope I don't get her goat too bad. Were you seven though? Seven or eight at Grandma's house? Oh my God. Oh my God. I've got the goat meat hidden under this beef packaging. This is from our cows. And the quicker I can get rid of that goat packaging, the better. But I'm just guarding the sink. I'm not the only one who knows about this though. These guys also know. Do you know what I'm talking about? What? No. Help me. We're making burgers. Mom's outside. Wait, do you think this is a good idea? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm going to serve you a non-goat burger if you don't want one. I don't. I'm going to try I, one. I don't want one. Okay, I'm just going to serve you all a non-goat burger. Good. And then if you want to try one after Mom finds out it's goat, you can. <laughs> okay, I'm just prepping a few ingredients. Organic tater tots. So I'm making two kinds of burgers today. This one's gonna be the complex one. And here we're gonna do a little bit of onions and a little bit of cranberry fermented relish. All right guys, time to eat. Yay! That's your spot. 
These are, have like a little more seasoning in them. Stuff. And they have a little bit Darling. of Mom. fermented cranberry Darling. in them. Ooh, in them? Yeah. How do you feel about Braveheart going? Great. He went back to his home. Do you like goats? <laughs> yes, I love goats. You've always loved them, haven't you? Yeah, I don't really, I don't love the Alpines that much. I do love goats, I'm, but I, I really bonded with my Nubian herd that I had for a few years. I'm not super bonded with the Alpines, but I do care for them. But I plan to have another herd one day that I, I love as much. The um the goat sweetie he whenever I get sit down he comes and nibbles my ears. He's he is the sweetest goat we've ever had. Yeah. I mean really, and he was named that. Brighton, our four year old, named him that the day he came because he was so affectionate. But it was per he was perfectly named. Yes. He was oh, and Brighton's so sweet too. Brighton is so sweet. <laughs> you named that little goat, huh? Uh, actually, I wasn't going for it was sweetie. Tater tots are coming out. Oh, is that good? Nobody eat until Daddy is sitting down. I want potatoes. I want some potatoes. What is a tater tot? How do you make these at home? I think maybe you hash brown them and then like go into patties and then deep fry them. I think that would be how you'd make homemade tater tots. Are you guys excited about this meal? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, let's eat. Please bless me to accept peace. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Dad. Lord, thank you for this day and for all of your blessings to us. Amen. <laughs>
really Mama, think that it's a yeah. Can I go outside and see the stars? Oh, can you go outside and see the stars mm -hmm. after dinner? Actually, since raising our own animals, it has gotten more difficult for me to enjoy eating meat. Thank um, you, Mama. You're welcome. Um, not that I really actually believe there's anything wrong with it, but just understanding animals and seeing that they're not mindless, that they have feelings. But you're going to eat your cow. Yeah, I know. I, I don't have an issue with it, but I have questioned it a lot more. I love you, Mama. I love you, Wait, too. wait. What? What? <laughs> what are you doing? I realize what I'm saying makes no sense. Does it make sense why I wouldn't eat goat, but I'll eat beef? But those goats have just captured my heart. I have a question. Okay. Did it taste good? Yeah, it tasted great. <laughs> and you know, you once told me goat was your favorite meat. It is, so I used to, I really like goat curry. Like, I love it. So you actually love the flavor but it's about how much you love your goats. Yeah, like I just immediately feel sick. I guess that means more for me. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Mama, I actually want to roast the whole goat with the guys sometimes. <gasps> I think one of the reasons I'm not as close to our current animals is because um, we've just been in so much transition. Mm -hmm. And I would have never sold my Nubians. I mean, that was, that was a really difficult decision. And I did that because um, I felt so overwhelmed last year when we found mold in our house and knew we had to move out. And I just felt like I can't give them the life that I believe they deserve. Like, I regret selling them. But I also think that I did the right thing at the time. Would you recommend people try goat meat? I mean, yeah, isn't that weird? Like, There's um, a lot of reasons to eat goat meat. When you look at how easy they are on a pasture, when you look at how on the pasture. much like less erosion potentially they would cause. You mean than a cow? Than a cow, when you look at how easy they are to manage, when you look at the, like, the land that they can graze versus cows. Well, browse, yeah, I mean, yeah, I would say yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, there's whole breeds of goats just for meat. I mean, a huge portion of the world eats goat meat, mm -hmm. way more than beef. Yeah, I'm just a softy, which I'm surprised by, to be honest. <laughs> Me too, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for making a meal. It was so nice not to cook, even if it was to surprise me with goat meat burger. I thought it was because I wasn't feeling well. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining us as we tried one of the world's most popular and common meats, goat meat. I loved it. First time, I'm gonna eat, cook it again. I might cook it just for myself again. Brie loved it too, actually. The flavor was great. So, she just couldn't. If you're interested in getting some of your own, just check out the link in the description from the farm that we got it from in South Carolina. All right, thanks guys, we'll see you tomorrow, bye.